Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our Realm of Magic Let's Play. I absolutely love this pack so far. Uh, it's keeping me interested. It's keeping me engaged. Like I really, really, really want to become a master wizard already. So we're going to try and get a lot done in this episode. I hope you guys liked the townie makeovers I did, but for some reason they don't stay made over. Like when I would go back to my game, they would be exactly how they were before. So that's frustrating. So if you see some of the townies and they're back to their normal selves, that's why there's something wrong with it and it's really frustrating. Thought I would throw that out there. <laughs> but anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into this episode. I'm really, really, really excited to get into it. I hope you guys are too. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are back in the house. So the first thing that I would like to do is I wanna get them a new house because I'm really not a fan of this one. Like not at all. Um. I just don't like it. It doesn't feel fun to me. Like the gameplay in this house just, I don't know. It's just not, it's not my vibe. And since we're not really worried about money in this let's play, it's not like a rags to riches or like a legacy challenge. I'm gonna splurge. So <laughs> there's this YouTuber I watch. Her name is Evelyn, Avalyn, Evelyn. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she makes the most gorgeous, houses and there's this one this tiny witch hut oh my god it is so cute i need to play with it now so that's what we're gonna do i hope you guys don't mind uh just look at it just look at this cute home like oh my god i just love it so much but there are some things that i want to fix about it like there needs to be there needs to be a pillar right here there needs to be a pillar here i think what happens is when you place a lot when you don't have bb move objects on uh it does it takes away like everything that doesn't make sense like these pillars since they are uh intersecting with other things like they don't really make sense. So yeah, you just have to turn that on and fix it. Um, and then inside the house, there are some things that I want to change as well. Uh, I hope she doesn't mind. I doubt it. I, doubt, I bet people do this all the time, but I'm just going to change the house to my liking, I guess. Uh, so let's see. I have all of this like CC stuff that I've been dying to use. I actually got a um, a witch's CC pack. I don't know. I don't remember where I got it or what it's called. I probably should have kept record of that, but uh, yeah, there's like a lot of witchy stuff in there, which I really, really like. It's um really different from the pack it's more um it's really different from the sims like realm of magic pack because it's more like not scary but just um i don't know how to explain it's not scary it's just more like sinister i guess is a good word because there's like like skull animal skulls and just like random things like that hey this pillar is intersecting in the house why oh i guess it's fine getting rid of laundry because i can't stand it when sims leave piles of laundry around the house it drives me insane actually insane okay so this is looking pretty good so far I need a dining table because I deleted that one. So let's see. Let's see. I think I want a round one. Just pop it right there. And then there's these little stooly thingies that I love. I think they're adorable. I'm just going to use these. Okay. And then in this corner, like this area here, we definitely need a like a little accent table. So let's see, let's see what we got. What would look good? What would match that? This? That 
that match is pretty good. But I don't know, do we want it to be that color? Ooh, I like that color. That looks way good. Those two things match, for sure. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the CC uh, magic stuff that I got. I'm trying to remember where exactly I found it, but if I find something, if I find it on... <laughs> It's so hard for me to freaking talk and furnish at the same time. If I find it, for sure, I will leave it a link in the description down below. Because I'm sure you guys will be interested because a lot of this stuff is really freaking cool. Like, look at this um, necklace thing. That is so tight. And then there's um, like crystal balls, which is awesome. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I love this big painting. This is so cool. Can I put it on top? Of oh, I can. Oh my gosh. Is it floating? No, it's not. Okay, that looks tight. Okay, we're doing that. And then what else do we have here? What else? I do want to use this painting again somewhere else. In the apartment or the little house or whatever you call this thing. I don't even know. Ooh, cool. I want to use that. I hope you guys aren't totally bored with, um, like, builds and stuff. I absolutely love doing, like, furnishing houses on camera, even though I kind of suck at talking. I still love doing houses on camera just because, um, I like to watch it. So I'm sure some of you guys do too. Poison bottle. Spider in a frickin' vase. Heck yeah. What was those books that I saw? Look at this, a little voodoo doll. That's um, Homegirl's Familiar, so I'm gonna put that next to her soon-to-be bed. Uh, okay, I know I saw those books. Where'd they go? There they are. Aw, oh, super cute. I love this. Do we want to keep it this, that, ooh. That looks really good there. Okay, let's put this other painting on this wall. Just like leaning there. And let's do, which swatch do we like? There's so many good ones. Oh, <gasps> yep, yep, that's the one. And then we can put our little cauldron right here in this little nook area. Okay, and then they need beds. So I'm thinking we just do their single beds that they had before. Just like pop them next to each other. Just like that. What other decorations do we have? I have a bunch of custom content stuff that I want to use. I'm sorry, let me know if that's annoying. If like using CC is like not, I don't know, if you guys don't like it. <laughs> let me know. I'm trying to find stuff that's like, witchy oh my god that is so cute that is so cute i just want to put that like everywhere <laughs> all right we need something to put on here now so let me see oh this hanging thing is really cool yeah yeah all right kind of want to change this couch swatch and then I like this wallpaper but I'm not feeling the color so let's see what else we got that's better yeah I think all right and then in the bathroom this is fine I just don't like this tile there we go all right what else do we need we need a, oh, this thing, we could just put that right there. Okay, so we need a plant for the middle of the table, for sure. Yeah, let's move this bottle, pop that in the middle, put that bottle there, cute, cute. Look at this frog in a jar. That would look really cool right here. Pop, there you go, froggy. Okay, what else do we need? What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? It's looking pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, the kitchen. I wanna change the counters, change the stove color. 
I saw these cool like cards. Yes, these. These would look so cool on the table out here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that I have my new PC, I do want to start um, streaming. So make sure to go over to my Twitch channel and add me or follow me or whatever it's called over there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, it's called, my, my channel is called SimSav. Sorry, my brain is so scattered right now. So since they have single beds, I think we should give them a, uh, a hot tub to woohoo in when necessary, you know what I mean? I don't want the, to completely strip them of that right. So, yeah, we're just gonna pop that right there. <laughs> and then for the, I kind of want to build her a greenhouse. Boom, because I want her, her magical plants to be, boop, to be in season year round. So we're just gonna do that real quick. How about stilted foundation? raise it up a little more that's cute I like it okay was there anything else that I wanted to do oh yes I wanted to delete this rug um, what else oh yeah I wanted to get them the tripod the tripod and the camera so that they can take cute pictures I have already tried this out um, it's really fun, like taking pictures of Sims while they're doing their magic thing. They, you get some really cute pictures, so I want to do that with them. Boop. Okay, and then one last thing. <laughs> I want that fountain. Let's just pop it right there. Cool. I love the outside of this house. There's this like mysterious room up here, and I don't know what it's for. <laughs> but it's cute. I like little surprises like that in builds. All right, guys, let's have a little tour of the house. Chicka 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 choo choo. You can already tell by the door that this is a witch's home. All right, here we are in the house. It is so cute. We need some pictures for sure for the, for these walls. This dining table is everything. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, just look at this. Just look at this witchy goodness. <laughs> they don't have a TV or anything, which uh, is a little bit weird, but that's okay. This picture, why is that so cute? All right, let's check out the bathroom, which I didn't really touch, so this was like all Evelyn right here. Super cute. Out the back. We've got a nice deck area with a nice view, nice bar. Down here we have a bonfire area. So it is Harvest Fest, but it's about to be over. It's almost two in the morning, so they're gonna be really, really sad because they didn't do like anything they wanted to, but it's all good. I'm just gonna get them to claim their beds. And then, hmm, what else can we do? I kind of want to show you guys the really cool, like, um, taking photos when someone's doing magics. Okay, let's get you into a cute outfit. Let's do this one. And then never use wands and then practice your mischief magic. And then you come here and just take a photo. Make sure the camera is, like, facing whatever Sim is doing it. Okay, this is, like... An awful angle so we're gonna try that again <laughs> all right let's give this a try it has to be timed like perfectly so obviously when she's like this uh, that's pretty boring she needs to be like actually like spitting some magic so let's try and time it right nope Ugh. That's a really awkward pose, but I've gotten some really good ones. You just have to be diligent. It's really cool when you can like time it just right to when they're just like doing that. Ooh, Flynn discovered a new spell. Good for you. Yes! 
We did it, guys. Look at this. So tight. Am I right? Okay. Definitely taking this one for sure. A few different filters. Aww. Cute. This is adorable. Okay. I want one where she where she gets the photo like right when it's been landed. Ooh, a cat. Ooh. Ooh. Did we do it? Oh, how cute is that, guys? How cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this picture. How lovely. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. You get some like good pictures when you're patient. Hi. Hi, googly eyes. Should we adopt him? Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. 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 All right. I think that's enough magic. Let's just do a group picture with them so that they can have one for the wall. Okay, what's wrong? What's wrong? Take picture with Fiona. Let's get them to change poses. You guys were asking me where I got the poses from. It's from the mosquito pack. It's not called mosquito. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Mosquito pack. She's so pretty. Oh my god, how cute is this? <gasps> With the stars and the lights. Oh, <clears throat> There's a cute gallery wall of them. Then we can do, let's see here, bright filter on that one right above their bed. So cute. And then I kind of wanted to put like a smaller one over here. Like of them two cute yeah yep all right enough of that stuff let's get into some gameplay now wow that took a long time all right let's have a look at their progress bars um i forget how to see that okay here we go so she has two talent points this is fiona so she is an experimenter um oh my god she's already she's already an acolyte wow all of that practice really helped so what is this next one? Spellcaster Socialite. Unlock magic social interactions with other spellcasters that will provide some spellcaster XP. That's pretty cool. Insightful Eye. Research, experiment, and tome regarding speeds are greatly increased. Huh. I think for her, this potion one will be good because it helps you bl um, blend potions faster. This one, chance on potion creation that all of the required ingredients will not be used. Chance on potion creation. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so since she wants to be like a potions master, I'm just going to focus on the po potions one for now. And then... The heck's her name? Flynn! <laughs> Flynn doesn't have any talent points right now for some reason. Uh, so maybe when she levels up again, she will get some talent points. She's browsing books. Why don't you, um, why don't you practice your magic so you can get that level up? And, okay, I hope you guys liked my, uh, Realm of Magic Townie makeover video. I really enjoyed doing that, but for some reason, really frustrating. None of the townies, like, kept their makeovers. Uh, it's, it's so infuriating like they just like reverted back to how they were before so there's that which is really unfortunate this area is so cute hopefully they can access this discard content can they access the cauldron Ooh, F flynn has discovered a new spell oh my gosh she knows like a crap ton of spells how do we open the spell book okay here we go um so let's go to her untamed magic so Infer Inferniate, instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire and she knows zip zap as well. Does she know any mischief magic? Yes, fill a sim's mind with feelings of intense sadness and reach into a sim's head and scramble their thoughts. Oh my goodness, you, you know a decent amount of spells right now. 
uh, I'm pretty proud of you. Why don't you go ahead and practice your practical magic because you need to learn another spell. You need to keep up with it. <laughs> Um, what do you need to do for your aspiration exactly? Reach spellcaster rank two. Okay, and and you? No three different potions? How does she learn potions, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder, how do you learn potions? Do you learn by experimenting? Maybe she should be experimenting instead of practicing her magic. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold again, you guys. Really unfortunate, but I feel like complete crap right now. <laughs> Look, they're doing that book thing here, too. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Who's calling? What's this? Flynn, seriously, I just found out about, found out about this concert at an underground abandoned warehouse in the fashion district. We have to go. Fine, whatever. It's not like we have to join with her anyway, but it'll get their relationship up, which is good. Um, a lot of you guys said that you do like Flynn with Morgan, and I do, too. And some of you guys were saying that you wanted Fiona and Flynn to both have a romantic relationship with Morgan. And I was like, ah, that is the spiciest thing I've ever heard. I love it. <laughs> so we might have to do that. We'll see. Also, if you guys didn't watch my uh, Magical Realm Townie makeover video, I figured out, or we figured out, that Morgan is actually gender fluid, I think? I'm not really sure, but... He is a male who has feminine fashion taste, and he can't get pregnant, and he can't get anyone else pregnant either, and he can't pee standing up. So yeah, he's a very interesting sim, and I'm like super pumped that Maxis made someone so unique. So if him and Flynn do get together, they can't have kids. Uh, they'll have to adopt, which I think is cool, because we don't haven't really adopted much in my series. I think it would be really cool if the girls had a party. So it's Friday night. We can totally do that, actually. Oh, but wait, she's supposed to go to that concert with Morgan. Dang, uh, that's supposed to be at eight o'clock. So let's see what happens. Come on, concert time. Let's do this. OK, so we can opt out of it. OK, I'm going to get Flynn to plan a social event. Just a cute little like housewarming party, I guess. Uh, so yeah, house party, definitely not gold. Mm -mm. Nope. We will be the hostesses. We can invite all of these people. We can invite our parents. Cool. We don't have anything for an entertainer to entertain on. We can get a mixologist. And should we get a caterer? They're like so glitchy in this game, but whatever. Why not? the darling residence speaking of that i need to save <laughs> i need to make it a habit to save my game oh ouch all right guys let's get it popping maybe we should buy a um, stereo sims love stereos <laughs> what is that oh my how about an old school juke Ju is it jukebox or jukebox? I think it's juke. Let's turn it on to, what the heck? Why would we want to zip zap this? What does that do? Let's put it on, um, spooky. Sure. <laughs> it is fall, so, um, yeah. Makes sense. It makes me so mad that none of their makeovers stuck. Like, why? Come on, everyone. The party's in here. Actually, wow, look at their freaking relationship. It's really good. I'm actually going to change up Morgan a little bit. I'm going to give him what the hair that I wanted say? him to have. And the brows. Okay, I don't understand why everyone is out here still. Come on inside. Why don't you come over here and um, thank him for coming. Thank your daddy for coming. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who I spent so long giving makeovers. And now they're just back to how they were. Oh my God, I'm so, 
so annoyed. So annoyed. Okay. Let's get her to... Where is that sheriff? I want her to, like, show him the pictures that her and her sister took today. Share photos. And then give him a compliment. Say, I really like your outfit. It's real nice. <laughs> All right. What's everyone up to? Did the caterer come? Ooh, it's popping over here. Oh yeah, she did. What is she gonna? Is she gonna grill? Where are you? Where are you taking that? That that wrapped up meat. Oh, the bartender's here. Okay, come and um, order your favorite drink. Girl, get up. <laughs> There's a party going on. Uh, order favorite drink. This is a very cramped patio. You make me so mad. I spent so much time on you, and it's just gone. All that work. Just gone. Did you order your drink? I think this is it. A ridge port. Drink it. Darling, caterer, what the heck are you doing? You have everything you need. I'm, I'm confused why you're not cooking. Look, she keeps trying to cook things, but then doesn't. Oh, look, look. Um, Fiona's favorite drink is red wine. That is so classy of you. So very classy. Doesn't surprise me. You too, lady. I spent so much time on you, and now you're just back to normal. Boring. I'll switch them. I'll switch them. Hopefully it'll stay this time. Bartender, you giving eyes to my man? Are you? Better not be. Alright, so you, my darling, teach dancing compliment his outfit ooh 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 mom mom i wish you could like introduce sims to other sims what if we told her talk up another sim morgan be like mom i met a guy he's really cool he's right over there don't look but girl you are double fisting it where are you going with those drinks mood honestly big mood um yeah just tell your mom that you met a guy and you're super stoked oh, where'd your drinks go take them out again i want to get a picture <laughs> this is a pretty good party everyone's dancing everyone's chatting come on love where'd your drinks go what's her mom gonna say Oh, he just walked by while that was happening. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, I'd love to get to know him. And look, he was like, heck yeah, thanks for saying that about me to your mom. That's so sweet of you. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Double fisting it. Dang. No, every time I try to take a picture of her, she's just like, nope. You are not capturing this moment right now. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my gosh, what if Flynn has a drinking problem? That would be a very interesting storyline for her. Um, and I could totally see it happening. Totally can. What are you up to? You're chatting it up with Mitchell and Amelia. Okay, why don't you come say hi to your dad? Thank you for, for coming and, um... Uh... I don't know. Deep conversation. Are there any men here? Oh, that bartender sucks. <laughs> Are there any men here that could be possible man candies for Fiona? I know that Victor Fang is married. I mean, we could get her with silver sweater, but I don't know. She just seems way too regal for him. Some of you guys were thinking maybe she should have a girlfriend. Oh, look who came to sit with her, actually. Yay, finally some food was served. Maybe we should get Fiona with um, Grace. She's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sim, so that would be pretty awesome. I love, like, when parties are going on. I just like to observe. Oh, 
The caterer said, I'm done working. Everyone's got some food. I'm gonna come over here and get my jiggy on, huh? I love doing this. It's so cinematic. And it really like gives you a feel of how everything is, you know? It's good stuff. <laughs> there you go, bartender. Wow, look at all those drinks. Why is no one drinking them? You're making them and no one is drinking them. Oh my gosh, you are just on a roll. And look, there's even a veggie plate. I know it's not a veggie plate, but like, she's doing it. She's doing it and she's doing it well. Look at you and your cute little outfit. I love her. All right, Flynn, you need, oh, okay, bye. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh no, all these drinks went to waste. What do we got here? That's a Dim and Gusty, Ridgeport, Tang and Zing, Fizzy Fruity Drink, Wrench, Ridgeport, Tang and Zing, and a veggie plate. How you feeling? Smooth sipping. And she's happy from deep connection from socializing. Cute. All right, so you're hungry. There's plenty of plates that people didn't eat out here. Actually, wow. I think it's time to clean up. These poor drinks. Come and drink this one. I've never seen a bartender do that before. Just like keep making drinks and putting them down on the bar just for people to take. I'm gonna get her to make some um, Mac and cheese, because that's totally something that I would make myself after uh, a long night of drinking. Please don't start a fire. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So they're just out here. Fiona's having peas. She is seriously so disciplined. Peas and mac and cheese. The two ends of the spectrum. A girl thriving trying hard to be healthy having peas as a snack after having a glass of wine and then this girl who had four or five drinks and then is having a giant plate of mac and cheese see you guys can see how different they are all right i'm gonna get flynn to ask fiona about morgan i want to see what Fiona thinks of him. I like Morgan, he is pretty cool. Okay, it doesn't look like Fiona has any like romantic feelings towards him whatsoever, which is good. Let's see who's, who's in her relationships. Where did you meet Eliza? <laughs> Maybe she can get with Grace. I don't know, I, want, I don't even know if Grace is um, single. There's also this guy. Tomax Colette. I'm pretty sure he's from the magic pack. Maybe we can get to know him better too. Ooh, they're familiars. Yeah, I want her to summon her familiar. I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> Same. Put it back in the bookcase. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Juju. Oh my god! Oh my god! What does it do though? Okay, why is that the cutest thing? Oh my god, he just follows her? Oh my god, I'm so in love with him. I love him, guys. It doesn't really suit Fiona though, but it's still really cute. We need to find her like a cuter familiar. Okay. Time for you to summon yours. You've got a dragon. So I'm pretty pumped to see what's gonna look like. Why do you have to go inside for this? Oh, uh, oh my gosh, you can have more than one pebble. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> okay, is that like not the perfect familiar for her? Is it not perfect? It's absolutely perfect. I'm so stoked right now. So what can we do with it? Dismiss and rename. Boring. <laughs> Let's get her to practice her magic. She's in a pretty good mood. Let me put all these freaking books away. 
What are you up to? Roasting marshmallows, and then you're gonna nap? Why don't you just sleep for reals? Oh my gosh, it's nine in the morning. <gasps> Whew. Sleep schedule. So bad in The Sims. I'm so bad at taking care of my Sims. One of you guys commented like, I don't know how your Sims don't die. Like, they're always in such bad moods and all this. And I was like, yeah, I know. It's because I overwork my Sims and I don't pay attention to what time it is. <laughs> I kind of just like go with the flow. If they're in a good mood, then they're going to do something no matter what the time. So yeah, sorry if that annoys some of you guys. Look at her familiar just like sits and waits for her to wake up. How would you, how would you guys feel like sleeping knowing this was watching you? I guess I would feel a little protected. Like if anything bad would happen to me, he was there to save me. All right, looks like Flynn is up. I'm just gonna get her to get some leftovers, use the pot tea, and then... Hmm, what can we do? Should we invite Morgan over to get her to, or to get him to train her? Get out of that outfit. Is it cold? It's pretty cold. Get out the outfit. Where's Morgan at? I swear I saw him. There he is. That's not the front door, my dude. <laughs> Um, let's ask him about his day. Sure. What's that? What is that? Trash plant? No! There we go. Okay, she's getting her, her training on. Her bar is going up. Good stuff. They're really cute. I'm gonna get Fiona to take a photo of them. It's probably not gonna look very cool. Oh, the bed's in the way. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I can't fit them in, but I'm definitely taking a picture of him. Alright, it looks like Morgan's taking off. I need to set this as the front door, because people keep coming over here to our greenhouse. <laughs> And I'm really bitter that a trash plant decided to grow right there in front. Ugh, that is so frustrating. Come and get the mail, love. Let's see what we got here. What's this? Oh my god, a fairy? We just got this in the mail. This is going straight into Fiona's uh, inventory because this is going to be her new familiar. Are you joking? A fairy is absolutely perfect. Bind familiar. Uh, Mordred? No, no, no. Um, in Sleeping Beauty, the fairies, their names, aren't they like Flora, like Fauna, and Merryweather or something? Let's call it Fauna. Uh, uh, in, not in memoriam, <laughs> in honor of Sleeping Beauty. Bye, little voodoo doll. It was fun while it lasted, but you're just not our vibe. Fauna. All right, let's see how this baby looks. Oh, how cute is that? It's just a blue orb. To totally fits her better, though. So I'm stoked on that. Okay, what else came in the mail? And what? Are you sick? Oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. We got an emerald. Ooh, we got another broom. No way. What's this one? Gnarled wood broom. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we can lean them against the walls. Oh, that is so cool. This is the room that we had. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. You still have this broom as well. Taking pictures is like one of my favorite things to do in The Sims. I don't know why. It just adds like so much character to the house. Just having like pictures of The Sims that you know like around. Look at how gigantic this book is that she's reading over here. Y'all ever see a book that big in The Sims? <laughs> ooh, ooh! Fiona has discovered a new potion recipe, emotional stability, and Fiona leveled up. So now she wants to reach level three, 
Rank three. Win three duels against other spellcasters and know five different spells. Okay. So she has... Did we not buy one? I thought we did. Yeah, we bought this one. Okay. What's this next one? Sim can now always see magical moats and collect them. Moats can be consumed for experience and minor random motive boosts. That's pretty cool. I think that... She would definitely want this one. Tame the untamable. Untamed spells and potions always succeed when Sim is in normal spellcaster charge range. I'm gonna get her the, the socialite one first. And then she has one more. So what should we get? What should we get? What should we get? Let's get insightful eye. Cool. Okay. Whoa. All right. She's brewing a potion of plentiful needs and they take forever. Oh, it's new skill day. You know, I think it's weird that, um, like, potions and, like, spells and things like that aren't a skill in this pack. I find that very strange. So what spells do you know? What spells can we mess around with before this episode ends? Um, I want to um, light something on fire. Okay, I'm going to save my game and I'm going to light this on fire just because I want to see what happens. Amazing. Great. Okay. Um, shoot, shoot, extinguish it, please. Come on. There you go. And we'll, we'll replace that. <laughs> I don't understand the purpose of that. There isn't one, like, at all, but okay, sure. Sure. Sure, Sims. Oh my gosh. Did you- Oh! She did it! Bottle up all. Yeah, girl. You did it. You did it. You brewed a potion. <laughs> Alright, now she's brewing another one. I think I'm going to leave this part right here. I have been recording for quite some time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Leave me comments on what drama you want to see and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye!